Kale is awesome. I didn't even know it was here. I actually finally cut this kale back and it's still trying to grow. And it was massive. It grew, it was huge. And I think I topped it and it even grew back. So kale is such a beast. So I'm over here and I'm weeding out this area and I'm actually making some weed water, is what I call it because so much soil comes up when I weed and so I'm turning it into water for my seedlings and just whenever I need to water. But there's a lot of weeds in here, so it's looking kind of intimidating, but it'll look really cool and fast speed if I can record it, right? over here turning on my hose and I haven't even told anyone but some of my friends that I got a chicken coop so I'll show you closer up my husband built it for me for my birthday so we're gonna build their run and then we'll have chicken soon super excited all right so I'm over here gonna fill this one up again this is that weed water so you'll see I'll stir it up and you'll see but you can already see the dirt but I was gonna lose all that soil and all its nutrients. So, you know, you can't help when you weed that sometimes you have to pull up the roots and so you get some soil. But I figured, here we go, that this, at least when I'm watering, I'll be watering with extra nutritious water and putting the soil back in. So this one's really light because it was just like the end and it settled in there. Um, but yeah, this is my new thing that I love to do. It makes me feel like I'm not wasting. All right, so just to show the water that's coming out of there. Nice water. That is a lot of weeds. Wow. This compost is going to rest. I put some leaves on top to kind of shut it down. But it's a nice little pile and it'll be ready in a month or so if I leave it alone and just turn it a little bit and get some oxygen in there. And this will be the bottom of my new pile, I guess. Gosh, that's huge. It's just like three buckets of weeds.
looks like the onions that I planted in between the garlic are doing okay after the snow and the garlic is looking amazing. Grocery store garlic looks pretty healthy. We'll see how the bulbs come out below. Little broccoli's looking good. I went ahead and pulled the leaves away from the base of the plants. And the peppers went down right here. Lemon jalapeno and orange bell. And this right through here is carrots. But they are tiny, but they are going to be huge. I did put string around the teepee for the cucumbers and we planted Japanese long, Boston pickling, and some straight eight, I believe. Oh. So that should be perfect for cucumbers. That's all the cucumbers I should need and hopefully they'll have enough space. And just to check in on the peas, I'm gonna count them as we go, but I put in some after the storm and some before because I didn't know how they would do with all that snow on top of them and all those days of cold. But they're doing awesome. But you can see that this, this one's newer. This one was from before. So I have a few, a few weeks in between, but they all germinated really well. That one's starting to reach for the first little part, so that's awesome. This one right here, I have a nasturtium I put behind here because I know they like to climb too. And I lost count, but I'd say there's probably about 25 peas. Well, I think that's all I have for you today. Showing you what I did, and I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me in the garden. I got an ant bite on my foot because I was wearing flip-flops. But it was like 77 today. Those are the kind of days I live for. Had my sunscreen on, had my hat on, but really enjoyed that weather. So thank you for watching the weekend garden vlogs, and I'll see you next weekend. Bye.